uh, eastern side where the, uh, the ominous uh, northeaster lies and has not moved. Uh, this is our first cylinder seal that we're looking at, and I'll tell you a little bit how to look at these seals. First of all, this is the impression rolled into clay, and this is some cuneiform script. This is always or usually going to represent the owner of the seal. These were used like stamps so that your, your name was on it and you chose like a motif of a historical story, a religious thing, something like that to make it colorful and impressive. They created these seals as a negative onto a jewel which was hardened and then they rolled it on clay or stone or something that they can impress upon clay. And no one really knows how they created them because they were created as negatives. But they always have interesting information in them. First we see four humans here drinking beer from a straw. Yeah, the Sumerians created beer. They actually recorded over 200 different recipes for beer. They loved beer. <laughs> now, first of all, we know this is the Earth and the Moon. This is a star, but it's eight-pointed, so we think it represents Venus. And the number eight, I'll explain later why eight would be Venus. Here's Mars, here's Jupiter. Oh my, what is this? Saturn. With rings? Hello, you can't see Saturn with rings unless you have binoculars at least of 10 or 15 power. There is no other ancient depiction I can find anywhere that has rings other than this. This is a very unique piece on this planet. And this is also unusual. The straw is in between Mars and Jupiter. Now what's in between Mars and Jupiter? Well, it's the asteroid belt. Are they saying that this is the asteroid belt? No. But it is consistent with where the asteroid belt really is, isn't it? See, a lot of what we're going to see tonight, is it consistent with what we're familiar with? Is it consistent with what we know? Or is it opposite with what we know? I wouldn't talk about the straw if it was over here. I wouldn't talk about it if it was over here. But it happens to be consistently in the place where the asteroid belt really is. And I think that's interesting. Because it is showing Saturn with rings. Maybe it is talking about the asteroid belt. We don't know. There's nothing else on here to indicate that they are trying to make more of, give you more information than just the simple like, this is our local neighborhood. 